Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolve on the Fjorder map. I'm an old guy gaming hand in this episode. Uh, we are going to start thinking about moving out of here and uh, moving into what will be our uh, probably be our main base. Um, so let's see, what can I get you guys updated on? I have I now have some flyers, um, so I've tamed a pretty decently high level. Pteranodon that I named Petra and I think I think Petra was a 145 um, so almost max level when I tamed it uh, I have actually a total of three Pelagornis uh, the reason I have three is because this was the first one that I got um, it was really just a opportunistic tame if you will because they fly over here land I can bowl and knock them out and then you know get them pretty easy uh, but then I since got a couple higher level um, Pelagornis. So I've got a, a male 154 and a female 90, uh, which I haven't leveled. I haven't leveled a female, I don't think at all yet. So um, you know, Pell-Mell here, get it? Pelagornis, Pell-Mell <laughs> is actually uh, you know, lower level. And I hate to tell you this buddy, but don't really need you. Uh, what I might do though is is hang on to it or, or unclaim it and then if we get, you know, a new player on the server... Um, you know, they can take it for themselves if they want to. Uh, I just, I don't want to have like a bazillion tames. I just don't, you know, some people just tame everything they possibly can and have, you know, a hundred critters <laughs> by the time it's all said and done. And I, I kind of don't like that. I, I'd like to have what I need and not a, a ton of excess. Uh, but of course it's always good. Well, in most cases anyways, it's good to have a male and a female because then they get the mating bonus, which makes them just a little more effective all right so let's see what else can i update you on um i uh, did uh just a bunch of off-camera stuff uh, last night it's the next day in real life for me and um i went and found a cave that leads to the the underground biome i like to have on the um I can't think of what, you know, whatever the, the arc map was where they, where you flew into a, a big underground biome. Um, Genesis, is that what it was called? Or Extinction. Yeah, sorry, it was Extinction. Um, and in that cave, there was also a bunch of metal. Uh, but I was talking with Joe. Joe was on with me at the time, and I wasn't able to actually fly into the cave. He thought he had allowed flyers, but apparently he wasn't letting me do it. So I took uh, the trike and a couple of the birds um, by land over there and uh, went and got a whole mess of metal. So now we have a, a ton of metal in here. Um, I have, yeah, 439 ingots. Um, I have tamed a couple of raptors and then lost those raptors. <laughs> um, you know, that's the way it goes, right? Uh, let's get this, this torch fixed back up. So let's see, we're going to need flint, fiber, and what else? Flint, fiber, what? So we'll get that repaired. Oh, what am I missing? Stone. Sorry. Uh, we don't need. We don't actually need fiber. We need stone to fix that. Uh, I have picked up a couple of items here just from from drops. Uh, probably the most significant is that I got an apprentice mammoth saddle blueprint from a, a pink drop. Um, and then we also have. I also have an apprentice ghillie chest piece. Also, I believe, from a pink drop, and then these two things here. I finally located some crystal, and I'll actually show you uh, where that is in just a moment here. And as you can see, I've been just gathering a, a bunch of resources. So we got a full stack of wood and then some. Uh, we got quite a, quite a bit of stone, quite a bit of pretty much just everything in there. Uh, I've used the trikes to gather up a massive amount of narco berries and... The other berries, and I have a preserving bin going here. You can see I have over a thousand narco berries in the preserving bin. Let's put these in here and here, let's get this out again. It's you know slowly getting lighter, but it's still a bit dark, so I'll try and keep the torch out. Uh, we got 20 more pieces of spoiled meat in there. Uh, one of the things I would like to do though, before we leave this place in earnest, is I would like to get a male, a decently high level male trike, so that um, Sangria over here, 
um, ha has the mating bonus. And I haven't come across a, a high-level male trike yet in, in the area. Uh, incidentally, I, as you can see, I did rebuild the taming pin uh, using foundations and stone walls instead of the, the pillar um, fiasco that I, <laughs> that I was messing with in the last episode. And I used this pin uh, to tame another female trike, uh, another tame of opportunity. But unfortunately, uh, I ended up losing her on the way over to that cave. She fell off a cliff into the sea and was killed by the Nideria, uh, you know, the jellyfish, which are very, very dangerous uh, critters in this game. Okay, so I think that more or less gets us up to date uh, on where we are. Uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to hop on uh, Petra. So let's call Petra down here. No, not you. Petra. There we go. And I'm going to show you a couple of things. We've got another drop coming in that we could check too. But basically all the way on the top of this mountain, all the way up the top here, um, there is crystal. And that's the only crystal I've found in the area. I was having a hell of a time trying to find crystal because we need it, you know, for the spyglass and for the jar. And we'll need it for other things later on too. But all the way up here, there is a patch of crystal right over here. And since we're up here, we might as well grab some more. Just looking around to make sure there's nothing up here that's going to try and eat me. Okay, I want you to be on passive, and I want you to be following me. Okay. So let's get our pick out here. And yeah, we are very cold. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time here. Just enough to grab another batch of this. Yeah, we don't need to take the stone back with us, so let's just drop that. And that gives us 125 uh, more crystal. So I've, I've pretty much just spent time on the... This is really cool, man. Look at this. Very neat. Uh, on just on the the extreme southwestern coast of the island, um, doing a little bit of exploring and just really enjoy this. Is, this map is so cool, man! Uh, just gorgeous. I think I'm not 100 sure, but I think Joe told me that it's the same dudes that made originally made Valhalla and then Ragnarok are also then the same ones that made this map. So these guys are just like absolute professional professionals when it comes to making arc maps. Let's drop down here really quick and see what is in this blue drop. Make sure there's nothing uh, too dangerous around. And we can actually harvest these bugs for chitin. This one's still alive. I want to I want to use my pick because I don't well actually I don't know. I don't know if my pick or the bird gets more. There are some raptors. We'll, uh, if there was just one of them, I might try and tame them again, but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to bother with raptors right now because... Okay, so he got six chitin off of that. Um, you just stay right there. Don't even move in case I get attacked. And I got six chitin off of that. And three. So I don't know. Maybe maybe the Pteranodon can get um, the same amount of chitin as, as I, my pick does. Or I don't know. Maybe the pick's not even the best tool. I'm not really sure uh, which one would be. Okay. We can just kill these raptors. I, got, I do have to watch the stamina. I'm busy uh, pumping the stamina of the Tyrannodon. Oh, I missed. <coughs> yeah, that was just a level 20. I don't know what this one is. I guess we could bull a 
bola him and see. He might be. He might be worth trying to get. Uh oh. Okay, I didn't see what level he was. I think he's like a was 70, which isn't really that high. He's a. Uh... Oh, he's 95. Okay. Well, he might be worth knocking out, I guess. We got these damn bugs. Let's knock the raptor out first before the bola comes loose. Okay, the bola just came loose, but he's also running away, which means he's right on the the verge here. Over the cliff he goes. All right. Well, let's kill these bastards. I'm going to put my Tyranid on an attack because I need the chitin. How much do we get from this? Oh, we got eight from that. I wonder maybe this the spear is actually better than the pick. I know it's it's not always the exact same amount each time. Let's try the axe. We got eight with the axe too. So I don't know if that's just co coincidence or um yeah something else. Let's um I think I want to get his stamina up to let's say about eight hundred, and then I'm gonna start uh, putting some points into damage. All right, where's that raptor at? He bailed off over the cliff this way. But I don't know where, which direction he went after that. And honestly, not really super wanting that raptor anyway, so I think we're just going to You know, it's possible he got knocked out. Oh, here's a raptor over here. I don't know if that's the same raptor or not. We need to also get an Argentavis. There's There are a few Argentavis around here. It kind of looks like the same raptor. All right, let's hop off here. Since you're right at our front door. Uh, except for now I can't get to your head. Here. That's why we have a back door. Oh, come on. Get up there. Okay. Yeah, this is the same one. Level 95. Female. And she's down. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, opportunity, but if we... If we lose her, we lose her. That's not a big deal. I think we'll probably be able to stand this up with maybe two pieces of prime. Let's see. Uh, I can't tell. Uh, I can't see the taming bar. Uh, yeah, she's going to need three pieces. Okay. Prime's not that difficult to come by, so we might as well use it since this is the only thing we have that will oh there we go and then that should stand her up okay you're gonna be wrapped the version two because the one i had before that we <laughs> that we lost oh now what oh it's just a just a dilo okay we'll let rapta get her first points here and uh, we're going to have to get a saddle for her, too. Okay. Anyway, um... Got totally sidetracked there by Rapta. So Rapta's going to need a... Saddle. Let's put this meat in here. Okay, I want you to just stay right there for a second. And I want everybody on passive for the moment. stay put as well okay so for a raptor saddle fiber hide and wood uh, 
fiber. We have some hide, but probably gonna need more than that in wood. Crafting. Oh, I have, to, I have to get out of there first. Wrap. Excellent. So that brings our crystal count up to 263 now. Um, and we, we're pretty low on chitin. So, you know, we're going to need to make sure we have plenty of that in order to make an Argentavis saddle when the time comes. So let's pop this on Rapta. And we're going to give you some health before we give you anything else. Excellent. All right. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to take you over and just show you that cave really quick. And what I think we'll do is let's get Sangria out of this. I don't know why it does that little skipping thing there. I want Rapta to follow Sangria. And I want Rapta to be on neutral. And I want you. What am I looking for? Oh, I hit the wrong thing. Behavior. I want you to also be on neutral. Okay. So that way, if anything comes uh, between the two of these guys, I'm sure they'll be able to handle whatever might come along. Okay, so let me just kind of show you real quick the route uh, that I took. And we'll look at the map a little bit before we proceed. So I think we went up this way. There's one of those Tapaharas. And followed this path along here. Uh, nope, sorry, we didn't follow that path. We must have gone up higher. Is that dead ends there? Yeah, so we came up this way. Oh, okay, what, what is this trike? I need a high-level male. Oh, I have this. I'm so used to not having it. Uh, level 20? Nope, that isn't going to work. Uh, she, plus the fact that she's female anyways. Uh, so we should actually kill her so another one spawns in. Uh, where'd she go? Oh. get lined up here. Didn't quite have the cooldown off there. Okay, here we go. Alright, she's just about dead. Okay, so yeah, we came along through here. Just, this map is just gorgeous. And then once you get up to here... There is a bridge that goes across this uh, waterfall. Really neat. Just love it. Okay, and then... Then it starts dropping back down into this next canyon here. And there's another natural bridge that goes across another waterfall. And then it drops down into here to another really small beach. And this is the cave. So if you're if you're curious, uh, this is where we're at on the map. So we're basically at about 86 and uh, 1, <laughs> I would say, uh, on the map. So just really extreme... Uh, southwest corner here, but a little bit further north now. And then, um, I don't think, unless uh, Joe changed the settings since last night, I'm probably going to get kicked off my flyer again. But we'll just go down in here a little ways, just so you, you can kind of see. Oh, he must have fixed it. Okay, because it was, it was kicking me off by now. Oh, 
Okay, hold on a second. He was telling me that if you fly fast, it kicks you off. And I just got kicked off as soon as I hit the shift key. But now, now it doesn't let me get back on. Or never mind, it does. Okay. Okay, so, so I'm not going to sprint. I'm just going to fly normal. Oh, never mind. Okay, well, here. Let's just run down here real quick then. So it comes down here, and off to the left, there is a portal. Uh, and you can use this portal to fight the dragons. So you, ha so you have the, the three dragons there uh, that you can fight. I guess, I, I don't remember exactly if you have to... If, if you can only fight the dragons here, or you can also fight the other ones. This would have... This would appear to be like only the dragons here, but I, I don't remember exactly how all that stuff works. Plus, you can, you know, uh, craft some of the high tech stuff. That'll all come back to me, you know. Like I said, it's been a while since I've played this. Any hoozle, um, this continues down here, and then there's a whole mess of metal down in this corner, as you can see. And there's like a little, looks like gold on the wall up there. And so I brought the trike down here and loaded up on a bunch of metal here. So, yeah. So that is the closest um, metal deposit to to my base. And then if you continue through here, there's this big long bridge. And I didn't go any further than about halfway over this bridge because there are bats over there. Uh, but if you look off the side, then you can see that way down there is the, the underground biome uh, like what we had in Extinction. Very cool. And it looks like there is probably a land route to get down there if you go around that way. Uh, I never went into that, through that arch to see what's on the other side because like I said, right around down in there, there are bats. And um, I'm not really equipped yet to, to deal with that. Okay, guys. So uh, what I'm going to do is cut the camera here. I'm going to go back uh, to the base and decide what our next move is. I think my highest priority is to try and find a male trike. And once we find the male trike, uh, then then I think we, we really need to start scouting a our main base location. And just, you know, in, in, and looking at the island itself and just kind of seeing what's what. What are you doing up there? Come over here. There you go. All right, guys, we're back at the base. So I spent a little bit of time just kind of flying around the area um, looking for some more trikes, and I didn't find anything uh, high level. And uh, I'm also, like, really framey all of a sudden, too. I don't know why. Um, the performance has been decent. Uh, with I think I have the settings, like, all the way up. But uh, for some reason, it's kind of not so good right at the moment. Why don't we... I think I put everything on epic, but then turned off a couple things like motion blur and that sort of thing. Why don't we put everything on high? And actually, again, make sure motion blur's off because I cannot stand motion blur. And let's just apply that. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, well, yeah, maybe that helped a little bit. We'll see. The game, on, I can run the game on Epic fine when I'm not recording, but when I'm also recording, then, of course, it taxes the machine quite a bit more. Um, all right, so here's what I think we're going to do. Um, just over yonder, on the other, uh, just along the cliff over this way, there is a level 130 Argentavis. Um, and I think that's high enough to be worth our while to get, but I'm going to have to make a couple modifications to our cage here if we're going to do that. So I think what... I think what I want to do is I want to go ahead and make this uh, th three walls high. I started to do that because I had a couple of extra pieces. And then we're going to probably need to put a roof on it. And I'm going to need to do something a little bit different on this side. 
Might even just put just another door on this side, actually. And just set it to to instantly close after we go through. This one is set on a five second timer. Um, so that'll stay open for five seconds because this is the in, you know, the input to the, but then if we put another door on this side that closes uh, opens and closes instantly then we can escape out the other side because usually the way i catch an argentavis is i just draw them in with a pteranodon throw uh fly the pteranodon into the cave or the cage rather and then fly right out the other side but the pteranodon won't fit through these slots here i wonder though if if we could get it to fit through a double doorway. So let's, um, structure variance. What does that mean? Oh, well, that's cool. That's new. I don't remember that uh, when I used to play. So let's take, let's take that wall out and grab some stuff to make some more uh, stone. So I think we're going to need wood, stone, and thatch. I'm going to put this stuff in here. All right. And then I want... No, I don't want to create a tribe. Uh, I want to go to Ingram's. To door. And let's do an S plus double door here. I guess the thing is, though, is I wonder if an Argentavis could fit through that. I'm not really sure. We're also going to need to learn the ceilings whilst we're here. So let's get that. That done too. Stone, S plus stone ceiling right here. Okay. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to make this double door. Let's make two of these. And then we know we're going to need some more of these, so I need to count ten, 10. I think 10 is what I need, but we already have two in place. That would be eight. But then if we're going to do the double, let's let's make six more of these for the, for the moment. I don't want to over make them because for whatever reason, you can't, you can no longer pick up S plus stuff after the first minute or so that it's down where you used to be able to do it. So that has been changed for some reason. I don't know why. Or if you are still supposed to be able to do it, it's not working on this server for some reason. And yeah, I know we need to make the Sealies too, but let's um let's do this first. So we'll grab these guys. I'm pretty sure that uh, Pteranodon can fit through that without too much difficulty. Okay, so where is the Pteranodon? Let's grab... Petra. Okay, so now the question is, can an Argentavis also fit through there? I'm guessing probably not. The other thing, too, is what if we even just go one high with that? Grab our stone, some of our wood, some of our thatch. Can I move? Yeah, okay. So 
So we need two, two more. Well, no, three more actually. Because I'm going to take off this upper piece. And see if we can fit the pteranodon through here. Should be able to. Let's try it. Oh, they're too heavy. You know what? Actually, while I've got these, uh, we're going to need one, two, three, four. We're going to need eight ceiling pieces. Right? Because this is too wide. We only have enough to make one. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not what I want to do. Son of a bitch. I didn't mean to make that gate. Okay. Oh, you know what? We're probably going to... Oh, man, that sucks. We're going to have to pull that gate down. Uh, to put the ceiling up. Ah. What a pain in the butt. All right, anyway. Let's just see if he can fit through here. Yep, he can. Okay, good. I'm pretty sure an RG's not going to be able to fit through there. I mean, I could be wrong. We'll, we'll see. But, uh, yeah. All right, so I need to make some more ceilings. Let's dig get that done, and then I think I'm going to have to remake the gate. So, actually, maybe it was a little bit fortuitous that I did make one of these, because... We're going to have to redo the damn thing. And I'm also probably going to need some more stone, too. Yeah. We're going to need some more stone. Okay, let me gather up some stone, get the rest of these pieces made, and then when I have it all built and am ready, I'll bring you guys back, and we'll see if we can pull an Argy in and uh, get an Argy tables. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, this was a pain in the butt. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Pain in the butt. I, uh, I ended up tearing the gate down, uh, only to find out that I couldn't put it back when, with the ceiling pieces in place. And um, I think there, there's, I think there might be a setting on the server where you can disable collision for stuff like this, um, but it's not disabled right at the moment. <laughs> So I destroyed the gate. I even destroyed the ramps because I thought maybe that was the problem. And then ended up having to recreate all of that shit again. And I still couldn't get the get it to work. So I finally came up with this um, arrangement here to, to fully close that in. Now, more, more than likely, I probably would have been fine even leaving that gap there for an Argentavis. But I figured, well, let's not take any chances. Let's get it to get it done. All right. So it looks like our training done has a level... And um, we were going to get, I think we were going to get the stamina up to 800. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to get our critters away from here. So, um, because I don't want the Argentavis aggroing on them which it uh, very likely could do. Uh, it's right over that way, so why don't we tell everybody to come over here. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually bring them all the way over here. Okay, so now I'm going to put everybody on neutral. And I'm going to have everybody follow Pella. I'm going to put Pella on passive. And everybody will stay anchored to her. She won't move because she's on passive. And then if anything attacks, um, the rest of the dinos will take care of it. Okay. But Petra, of course, needs to follow me and also be on... Uh, passive. Okay, I think I think we'll be okay there. 
Hopefully, hopefully they'll be all right. I mean, it's very unlikely that something would come down there and kill them all that those dinos couldn't handle. Okay, so the plan is, is we're going to bring, we're going to aggro the RG, bring it around through here, fly in through here. Oh, I'm glad I remembered, because uh, I had to redo this gate. We need to set the delay to five seconds. Okay. And then we'll, we can just scooch right out through that little hole there and we should be good. Okay, let's try this and see what happens. The R, the R is just right over here. It's been hanging out there for a long time. Make sure we have full stamina. I like the colors. And we'll just let it follow us until we get it to the trap. Nice time for me to be dehydrated. And there we go. We trapped ourselves in Argentavis. Beautiful. Okay. We're going to just let her stay in there. And I want to bring my critters back this way. So I can keep an eye on them. And I also want to see... I only have one piece of prime meat. Hmm. I wonder if we should maybe try and get a little more prime before we start this process. Well, we could knock her out and let her just sit there. Yeah, let's get let's get the knockout process going first. Might be difficult to get headshots. I do want to make sure I'm using crank arrows and not normal arrows. Yeah, we might have to just do this shoot wherever we can because she's not going to hold still. I don't even think I hit her that time. I'm not very happy. There we go. Keep that head right there. Ah, shit, we got a Therizinosaurus here. Really? What level is it? 55. Damn. That was bad timing. Okay, well, we're going to have to be mindful of that. And it's freaking dark and we can't see a damn thing. Lovely. That's the way art goes, man. Freaking Murphy's Law incarnate. Okay. Argy's down. Um, I started off with a little over 100 arrows. I have 65 left. So it took approximately, I'd say, 35 to 40-ish trank arrows. All right. Now, I think the Arge will be okay for a little bit. Its torpor's not going to go down too quickly. I do not want that Therizinosaurus anywhere around. Ah, 
I, I might even have enough narcotic to... to tame this, but the thing is, is I, I don't want to tame a bunch of animals and, because this isn't our... Okay, he's dead. Uh, this isn't our normal, you know, our, our main base. So the more animals we tame now, the more we're going to have to move later. So I just kind of want to get the essentials. Oh, you know what? This actually was a, was a, worked in our favor after all because we'll get prime meat off this guy. Well, only two pieces. That's not a whole lot. I don't know how many we're going to need for that RG. But it's going to be more than th three because I have three in total. Well, let's put that in there. Oh, no, I only have two in total. We must have lost that other one. Yeah, I think we want to get some more uh, prime meat before we start feeding the Argentavis. If we could... Yeah, here's a Diplo right here. Let's, let's see if we can get this guy knocked off the cliff and killed, and that'll get... Should give us some more prime, too. I don't want to kill him up here. I want him to go down below, because otherwise it might be hard to harvest him. There we go. Okay. Now let's just tell everybody to attack him. some prime meat. Look at that. All right, cool. Okay, I'm sure 10's enough, probably even more than enough, but let's just see what happens here. Yeah, it'll be plenty. Okay, so it doesn't look like um... I'm going to name this wine because it looks kind of like burgundy wine. Um, that's a setting that I talked to Joe about where the eat interval is, is way OP. So we're going to adjust that so it's not that OP because that's just too much. Uh, but apparently he hasn't done that yet, um, which is fine because we were playing pretty late last night. So he's probably just not gotten to it yet. So you know, our taming is not going to be that fast. We just we're still just kind of trying to tweak the settings and we're gonna tone that down a bit because I you know it's just it's too much. So anyway, we do now have ourselves an Argentavis, level 194 Argentavis, which isn't too bad. It isn't too bad at all. Alright, you guys. Well, I think what I'm gonna do is wrap up this episode here. I'm gonna make get a saddle made for the RG. And then uh, I'm gonna look around a little bit more for a male trike, but if I don't find one, I, just, I, I don't find one. Um, and we need to start exploring the map and figuring out where we're going to build our main base, which is definitely not going to be in this location because this is pretty isolated uh, where we, we currently are. So probably the next episode will be us doing some exploring and looking for uh, our new location. So with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.